Hello, I'm just preparing some paintings for an exhibition uh, that's going to go into a, a new gallery uh, called Chalks in Lewington and they've asked me to put in five paintings so I thought I'd show you some of the paintings. Now this particular one here uh, which I call the flooded pond is an example of why I'm inspired by the new forest. First of all the scene is quite beautiful. You've got the reflection of the uh, the autumn oaks in the water and then you've got these grasses in, in the foreground which are floating because I don't know if this is an ephemeral pond. That is a pond that uh, in the summer it just looks like an ordinary lawn and it's got to be very well grazed and in the autumn the uh, the rains come and these ponds fill up and what makes adds interest to these ponds when you look at them there are creatures in there which wouldn't exist in any other pond because it dries up the eggs of a, a little shrimp called the fairy shrimp they live in the mud and they can live without water for for actually decades uh, but when the rains come they will hatch out and they're known as a living fossil. There's very few species that you can say haven't changed and this one hasn't changed in 140 million years. That's why it's, it's such a, a precious environment for this little creature. But it shows the new forest is not just beautiful trees, open stretches of lawn and heathland and ancient woodland there's a, a deeper interest. The more you find out about the forest, the more fascinating it becomes. And that's what inspires me to do these paintings. Anyway, uh, I shall show you some more now. Now this autumn scene is uh, a painting that I, I, I started as a, a, doing a small sketch of it. Um, and while I was doing the sketch, um, these deer, fallow deer wandered in. Uh, it's on a, uh, outside Lindhurst again on uh, an area called Park Pale, which is a, um, it's a deer bank, medieval deer bank uh, that goes around the south uh, eastern side of Lindhurst. And the trees are birch trees um, and they catch the light and the bracken was very rich at that time. So yeah, the colours, I hope, uh, give a real autumnal look. Now this painting, uh, I've called it uh, uh, Vinnie Ridge Oak. Vinnie Ridge is a, an area in a, a fork of two roads, the A35 and the road that runs off to Burley. And uh, it used to uh, have a her heronry there, uh, but that's long since gone, where the herons used to roost in the uh, Pollard beaches. It's a piece of ancient woodland, uh, but what gives it extra, extra character, uh, there are a lot of old gravel or sand workings uh, and the oak trees sort of grow out of the side of the banks and it, it, uh, it does give a lot of character and there's that rich mossy colours that you get on, on the roots and the uh, uh, contrasts really well with the, with the um, autumn leaves. This is the last painting and uh, it's a, a very autumnal scene of a, a beech tree uh, in its full glory of the autumn. I did a lot of this painting on site. Uh, I carried the painting there uh, about three times. Uh, the last time the leaves uh, were almost gone but I think I've captured the moment uh, when autumn looked at its best. I've added some pigs because uh, it is the autumn panish season, one of the few places in the country where you can see free roaming pigs. Uh, the site is uh, not far from Asher's Lodge uh, and it's just on the edge of an ancient earthwork which probably dates from about the Bronze Age. Anyway, there's always things of beauty to see in the forest and they're not only beautiful, they possess real historical interest wherever you look. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, the exhibition will be on in a few weeks time 
and it's in uh, the Chalks Gallery in St Thomas Street, Limington. Goodbye.